Mr. Clown here from Clown Maths. Today we're going to be following on our work on drawing straight lines. And this time we're going to be, instead of drawing ones which are at a slope, we're going to be drawing straight lines either vertical, which is straight up and down, or horizontal, which is straight across. And we're going to be looking at how to draw them from the equation of the line, what the equation of the line would be to give you a vertical or horizontal line. So you'll be able to actually, from an equation, draw it, but also from the picture, name the equation. So let's get into a few activities for you to try. So the first thing I want you to do is if you can pause the video in a moment, it says, which statements can you make about this graph? The first person says, I can name some coordinates on the green line. So try and name some of the coordinates on the green line. Write down the coordinates if you can, maybe just one or two. Second person says, I can find the coordinates of A, B and C. So you'll notice we've got A, B, C, in D here, can you write down the coordinates of those points? Give that a go. In the last one, I can find some midpoints. So looking at the line as a whole, can you find the middle of the line and find the coordinate of that midpoint? Give that a go. Now, pause the video here to complete your task and then come back in a moment when you've done it and we'll go through the answers. Okay, welcome back. Let's go through the answers. So the first one, I can name some coordinates on the green line. So let's zoom into this green line a little bit. If we say we pick this coordinate here, then that goes along 7 and it doesn't go up the way. So the point is 7, 0, along 7, up 0. Let's pick the next like, coordinate. That goes along 7 as well, but this time we need to go up 1, so it's 7, 1. Let's pick the next one. It goes along 7, but then it goes up 2. And so on, we could pick this one down here, which went along 7 and down to minus 1. We could have picked this one, which goes along 7 and then down to minus 2. Remember from previously how to do coordinates, we start here. The zero, zero, we we'll always go along first and then up or down. Along the corridors, then up or down the stairs, okay? So hopefully you got some of them. Let's look at the next question. I can find the coordinates of point A, B, C and D. So let's go across and look at A, B, C and D. Get my pen again. I'll use a different colour for this so you can see it slightly different. So let's look at point A first. So... We start here at 0, I need to go along 2, and then up 3. So it is the point 2, 3. Let's look at B, starting at 0, I need to go along to 7, and then up to 3. So it's the point 7, 3. Let's look at point C. I need to go along to 2, then down to minus 3. So that's the point. 2 minus 3. And then the last one, point D, I need to go along to 7, down to minus 3, so that must be the point 7 and minus 3. And let's look at the last question. I can find some midpoints. Let's see if we can find some midpoints. Well, there's four lines on the page. There's two vertical and two horizontal, so that helps us. Let's we'll start with vertical and horizontal. Vertical just means straight up and down, so these are vertical. Horizontal means straight across, so the red and the orange one are horizontal. The blue and the green one are vertical. So let's start with our vertical lines. I want the middle of these. So if we look, we should be able to see that we go in one, in one, and then it goes one, one, and that must be the middle of these two pieces, so it's right here. So that coordinate, if I draw in a different colour again, the point here will be along two, and then it will go up zero. Very similarly, I don't need to draw this one, there's our mid, middle of the green one, the middle of these two is here, so it's seven zero for the green one. Let's look going across the way, so looking at the red one, between A and B will be the middle, so it has to be here. So we'll notice that's in the middle of a box, so we're going to have to work out what that is. So we need to go along to 4, then half a box, so it's 4.5, then up to 3. 
So the answer for this bit here must be 4.5 and then 3. Very similarly, the middle of this one will be here, so I need to go along to 4.5 again. But then I need to go down to minus 3. Okay. Okay, so your next task is very similar. This is exactly the same grid, but this time with the state with four coordinates on each of the lines. You have to think about what do you notice about those coordinates? Is there something that's the same? Is it something which is different each time? What is different about horizontal and vertical lines about what's the same and what's different? You should be able to see this once you've actually done it. So pick four coordinates on each line, write down the coordinates of those points, any four you want. Pause the task here and give it a go and come back when you're done. Okay, welcome back. Let's go through some of the answers to this. So first of all, I'm going to pick the red line. Looking at this one here, I'll zoom in a little bit. Now you could have picked any four, I'm just going to pick four. If you've picked four different ones, just try and have a look to see what you got, okay? I'm just going to pick this one, this one, this one, and this one. So, looking at this one first, I go along zero and up three, so it's zero three. The next one, I go along one and up three, so it's one three. The next one at point A, I go along two, then up three. And then the last one at point, the next point, I must go along three, then up three. If I was to pick the next point, it'd be along four, then along five and along six. But notice the second number, always three. It's exactly the same. And that's a horizontal line, the second number. I wonder if that's true for other horizontal lines. Let's check. I wonder with the orange line, if the second number will be always the same. So let's pick some points for that. Looking at this point, I need to go along 0, but down to minus 3. So that's 0 minus 3. I wonder, is it along 1? Yes, down to minus 3. There, it's the same again. This one here is along 2, but then down to minus 3. This one here is along 3, but down to minus 3. Yes, we've got it again. The second point is exactly the same number. <clears throat> I wonder what changes if it's vertical lines. Let's look at some vertical lines. Let's look at our blue line. So looking at our blue line, let's pick this point. This point is along two, but up zero. Let's pick this point. That's along two, but up one. Let's pick this point. That's along two, but down to minus one. Notice what's happening. There's another one there. There's another one there. Two, 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 two. The first number's two. The first number's the same. Hope you noticed that. So for a vertical line, the first number looks like it's going to be the same. The second number's the one that changes. I wonder if that's true for the green line. I wonder if the first number will be the same. I wonder maybe if it's seven and the second number doesn't change. The second number does change even. Let's check. We'll get some ones for the green line. So this one we need to go along 7, but up 0. This one we need to go along 7, but up 1. This one we need to go along 7, but up 2. This one we need to go along 7, but down to minus 1. Every time we need to go along 7. So it's 7 for the first number. So hopefully you have noticed that for a vertical line, the first number stays the same and the second number changes. But for a horizontal line, the first number changes and the second number stays the same. So staying here for a moment, what that tells us is the equations of the line. If you remember, we call this axis the y-axis and we call this axis the x-axis. Now if, for, if we look at our horizontal lines to start with, you'll notice the second number is always 3. And the second number is when you go up the y-axis. So we can say that the equation of this line is just y equals 3. Because we go up to 3, but if we go along it's still at 3, we're still at the height of 3. Similarly, going down to here, 
the y part is always minus 3, so that means it is y equals minus 3. For any horizontal line, the equation of a line is just y equals a number. And it's just telling you how far down the y axis you need to go to draw the line. So if I wanted to draw the line y equals 1, for instance, I would go up to 1 and draw a straight line across. If I wanted to draw the line y equals minus 2, I would go down to minus 2 and draw a line straight across. Let's see what happens when it's horizontal. Sorry, let's see what happens when it's vertical. So looking at the blue line, notice the first number is always 2. Well, the first number in a coordinate is when you go along the x-axis. So we can say, and I'll write a blue pen here, that the equation of the blue line is just x equals 2. Because I go along 2 and go up or down. I always go along 2, though. Similarly, for the green line, I can say that the equation of that line is just x equals 7, because x is always 7, the x coordinate part. For any vertical line, the equation of it is just x equals a number. So, let's say I wanted to draw the equation of a line, x equals 6. I would go along to 6 and just draw a line straight up and down. If I wanted to draw x equals minus 1, I would go along to minus 1 and draw a line straight up and down. Horizontal lines have an equation of y equals a number. Vertical lines have an equation x equals a number. Okay, let's give you a task to see if you can work that out yourself. So your independent task on the coordinate grid, you have to draw the following lines. So draw your coordinate grid. Try and draw y equals 3, x equals minus 2, y is minus 5, and x is 5. Then for question 2, I want you to try and draw the line y equals x. Now, y equals x is not a horizontal or vertical line. Why not? Go back to the previous video if you're stuck on that to see what happens when y equals x, how you draw that equation. Pause the video here and come back when you're done and we'll go through the answers. Okay, welcome back. Let's go through this one by one. So the first one says, on the coordinate grid, draw the following lines, y equals 3. So y equals 3 means I need to go up the y-axis to the number 3. And then I just draw a line straight across. So you should have got an answer a bit like that. I'll make that a little bit neater. That's y equals 3. Okay. Let's do x equals minus 2. I'll use a different colour. So I go along the x-axis to find minus 2. There it is. I draw a line straight down through minus 2. That would be x equals minus 2. The next one, I'll use a different colour again. y equals minus 5. So I'm on the y-axis again. So I go down to minus 5 on the y-axis. I draw a line across. There we are. y equals minus 5. y equals minus 5. And then the last one, x equals 5. We'll go along the x-axis to the number 5. Vertical line again. That must be x equals 5, because we're always along 5. Hope you managed to get there. Let's look at the second question. Draw the line y equals x. Now, if you remember from a previous video, we can make a table of values if we have to, but this one's easy, you don't really need to, but I will for the sake of it. X and Y. Let's say we've got 1, 2, 3 and 4. Well, if X equals Y or Y equals X, then they're also 1, 2, 3 and 4. So you've got coordinates 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. So if I now draw that on my grid, I'll use a black pen for this. I've got along 1, up 1. Along 2, up 2 along 3, up 3, along 4, up 4. I've got some points, so the line must go like that. Now, that's going to be neater in a minute. I'll move it along. There's your line there. Oh, 
which is not a vertical or horizontal line because it's not y equals a number or x equals a number, it's y equals x. So it gives you a diagonal line whenever it's y equals so many x, just like we did in the previous example. It's only a vertical or horizontal line if it's y equals a number or x equals a number. So one last task to do on this. You've got explore, find the vertical and horizontal line that passes through each of these coordinates. And then it asks, will these lines intersect? The word intersect just means will they cross each other. So try and draw the lines possibly first, and that will help you to find the equation as well. Okay, come back when you're done. So let's look at uh, the first coordinate, E. You should have drawn a line that goes straight down there. A line that goes straight across. Make that slightly neater. So the equation that one of the one going down the way, well, it's going through the x-axis, so it's x equals minus 3. And the one going along the way, it's going through the y-axis, so it's y equals 3. So there's the first one. Let's do the second one. For g, straight down, straight across. So for g, it's going through the number 1 on the x-axis, so it's x equals 1 for the vertical line. It's going through the number 2 on the y-axis, so it's y equals 2 on the horizontal line. Let's look at another one. Let's look at f. So it's going through there and then going along the way. So going up and down the way, you've got it going through minus 2. So it's x equals minus 2 for this one. But going across the way, it's going through minus 1. So it's y equals minus 1. And then the last couple... Let's look at I very quickly now, going down, going across, neat it up a little bit. So it's going through x equals 2, going up and down the way, and it's going through y equals minus 3, going across the way. Last one, H. So it's going through 4, x equals 4, going up and down the way, and across the way it's going through the number 1, so it's y equals 1. This has been Clellan Maths, and today we've been recapping and looking at vertical and horizontal lines. You've learnt the word vertical and horizontal. You've learnt that vertical lines have an equation of x equals a number and how to draw that. And you've learnt that horizontal lines have an equation of y equals a number and you've learnt how to draw them. Thank you very much. Stay safe and take care out there and goodbye.